you made a movie yeah. that made yeah. us talk about yeah. it yeah. after we watch it. Yeah, and right, like, yeah. oh. I want to talk about Shad's play. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. I had the privilege and pleasure yeah. of watching it just two nights ago, and right. uh, God damn, Tony, <laughs> this this is a personal piece. This is yeah, something that you like personal. you really wanted to make, yeah. and yeah. this is your vision yeah. of it, and this yeah. is your magnum opus, yeah. so to speak. How did it all come about? Okay, so actually, it was meant to be my first film, mm -hmm. um, and, and it was um, yeah, it, its genesis was pretty much 10 years ago when, when I started writing it as, a, as, as my first screenplay. Mm -hmm. And it was incidentally around the time that I was working on Ghost ah. as well. So what, what spurred me to write that screenplay was, okay, I think I'm doing a fairly decent job uh, as a newcomer uh, w w you know, honing my craft with, uh, with, with Ghost. And I think I'm ready to make the jump into, uh, into feature filmmaking from here on. Mm -hmm. you know? um, and I wanted Shadowplay to be that, 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 that first film. And at, at that time, what I wanted to do was establish, you know, uh, I think every filmmaker, when making their first film, are entitled to uh, be a little self-indulgent, <laughs> at, least, at least at that point, <laughs> so that they, they, they can convey uh, what their, uh, what's the word, forte is, yeah. you know, so that, you know, from, from there on, you know, people would know, you know, what, you know, what makes you roll and what's, you know, what you like and, and what fits you, what suits you in terms of genres or content, mm -hmm. you know. But that didn't happen for another 10 years. Okay. So along the way, within those 10 years, I basically, I've just been directing things all across the board with no particular uh, signature. You right. know? So people would just be dumping you know, projects on me. Oh, you know, do this romantic comedy uh, branded content series. So I'm like, but that's not me. So I'm like, and they'll be asking, but what is you? Well, it's not, it hasn't been made yet. <laughs> but I did it anyway. So, okay. so I think by the time Shadowplay finally got in front of the cameras, it's like, you know, all everything that I've been containing, you know, and just kind of like um, building, building in, the, in the last decade is just kind of like, just came crashing into this, this one piece. I see, I see. You know? What, what yeah. usually happens is yeah. that uh, when a director makes his first movie, yeah. Yeah. like he makes it like usually before he does any, the, any commercial work, any real experience, yeah. you know, so it's yeah. like, so it yeah. ends up being like, a, I don't know, an amalgamation of like a, several yeah. different genres all rolled up into, it's a sushi yeah. of a movie. Right. Yeah, but for, but for you, yeah. you, you have done all these things first, and yeah. then, you, then 10 years later you got yeah. to do Shadow Play. Yeah. So at least you, I don't know, you yeah. worked your way up there, what did, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, basically it's called like re reverse engineering in a way. <laughs> right, right. You know, right, so right. I think um, from the standpoint of a, of a, of a filmmaker, uh, I think it, it, it served me well that, that I'm, uh, only got to make shadow play now yeah i mean looking back if i made it then it probably wouldn't be as professional yeah you know because i think the mindset at the time was oh yeah i can do this for like you know uh sixteen thousand ringgit you know, you know i'll just go gorilla with it you know no. uh and no. i got some people here who are who are actually i mean juria was there sandy was there uh you know it was it was a bit of a misguided attempt but at least it had it got the the film um moving the, the wheels were, were sure. rolling at that time you know and down the line, it finally got off the ground. Some things are just worth waiting for. Exactly. Am I right? You're right. Okay. You're right. So, where did the story come from? Okay, it's it started off as a um, uh, as a theory paper that I didn't finish for college uh, on, on on the films of David Lynch. You know, where I was theorizing about you know what the elements and kind of like the uh, the motifs and uh, everything that he was you know tr you know uh, conveying in his films. And I decided, you know, when I, when I looked at the, the whole structure of the essay, I decided, hey, I could make a story out of this. So, so initially, it was meant to be a piece of fan fiction within the Twin Peaks universe, yeah. but set in Malaysia. Uh -huh. you know? And then it just, uh, and then Mulholland Drive came out, and I saw that, and I'm like, okay, okay, now I just, I, I want to make this a real film, mm -hmm. and make this a love letter to the film, uh, to, the, to the director who I consider to be my most uh, influential mm -hmm. uh, director. So, uh, but at the same time, over the course of time, I realized that, okay, it could be a love letter to him, but it's got to take on its own identity at the same mm -hmm. time. You know, whether it's my imprint or, you know, anything else that I wish to kind of like, um, uh, uh, you know, visualize um, internally. It's, 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 it's drawn from my own experiences as an individual, mm -hmm. particularly as a third culture individual. Yeah. And, you know, that's, you know, you can tell from my accent that I'm somebody who kind of like grew up here and there, you know, kind of like you as well. You know, so, so yeah. ba basically, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean. yeah. So basically, yeah. it's a uh, it's college homework. 
Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, the place that, of college yeah, homework. It's, it's glorified college homework, which is why you can, you can kind of like tell in the sense that that's what it is, you know, and that, okay. that part of it is, is kind of unchanged. But I think that's part of the reason why I decided not to change it, because it's, it's true. Yeah. It, it's, it's, I, have to, I have to be honest with that. You know. Hold on, yeah. wait, yeah. what's true? The events in the movie is true? Or oh, no, is it no, true? I mean, the intent. The because intent. Yeah. <laughs> the intent is true. The yeah. intent is true. It's yeah. true to you. It's true to yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and I wanted that to be true to the audience as well, you know, right. whether they understood it or not. But that's kind of like the point. You know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, don't ask me if I understood okay. it because I definitely okay. did. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, and there's no right, right or wrong way to understand it either, you know. So if you understand it, you know. I'm not going to tell you if you're going to tell me how you understood it. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you whether it's right or wrong. Okay. You know, that's the whole idea. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's you know, as, as I said in the, in the introduction, in the screening, it's not, don't try to make logical sense out of it, but try to make intuitive sense out of it. Okay. You know, how it feels like to you. Okay. You know, how it feels, how it feels it makes sense, not how you think it makes sense. I was just uh, yeah. right right after the screening yeah. that, that night. I was yeah. just uh, talking with my uh, yeah. writing partner, yeah. and God damn it, Tony, you yeah. made us talk about it. You made, you made a movie yeah. that made yeah. us talk about yeah. it yeah. after we watch it. Yeah, I mean, right, like, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> well, congrats. Thank, thank, thank you, and, and that was that was the aim, you know. So, <laughs> so I guess go with Chief, you know. But I, I realized yeah. that it's not gonna play out that way with most people, you know, because. At the end of the day, most people want to be entertained. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. and I realized that I took a risk on, on doing that and I, I had qualms about it, but I think as a first film, you're, you can afford to take those risks. Um, yeah. And kind of like uh, fail to a degree, yeah. you know, so that the next time around, you just, you know, go back to doing what you were doing. <laughs> But at least it's out of your system. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you yeah. set out to get people talking, I yeah. mean, it worked because yeah, yeah. because uh, I was just talking with my writing partner, and he yeah. we we sure. we we have yeah, different yeah. Yeah. Uh, interpretations of uh, yeah yeah w what's happening. I'm not going to give away too much. Yeah yeah. But like, what's really happening? Yeah. It's, it's so that's beautiful. The fact that you guys have different interpretations of it that's beautiful, and that's the whole point of it. Yeah yeah. You know, there's uh, many different stories that you can draw out of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so. Uh, this was intentional. It's by design. Yeah. It's, it's, it's abstract enough to yeah. leave you yeah. like, uh, oh, maybe this is that, and yeah. that is this, and exactly. this person's that. Exactly. Okay, well, yeah. if you set out to do that, yeah. Yeah. then you've done it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> okay.